Joining me now to discuss the security concerns that are raised by today's shooting, and they are many, we're joined now by former assistant director of the FBI, Bill Gavin. Bill, great to have you with us. Uh, the FBI gets involved, uh, as you well know, uh, whenever a congressman uh, is shot, uh, whenever there is a, 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 an incident like this, they are involved in what they're learning and what we're learning about this shooter uh, is deeply troubling because there is, there is an active campaign of hate and subversion on the part of the left in this country uh, that is directed at the president, uh, at the Republicans, obviously in Congress. Uh, and what can the FBI do here? Lou, the only thing that the FBI can do at this particular point in time is, is investigate what happened. But I totally agree with you. The vitriolic hatred that spews forth from the left-leaning legislators and broadcast by the left-leaning press is what causes things like this to happen. It, they they want to believe that it's only figurative speech. It's literal speech, and that literal speech drives unbalanced people to legitimize the kind of action that happened today. It's a shameful thing that they're doing, and they've got to, somehow it's got to stop. I don't know what is going to make them stop, but somehow yeah. America has to become conscious as to what's going on with the left-leaning uh, uh, party and the left-leaning press. I, I want to move back to the FBI here, Bill, too, because I know that you have got to be gut sick. Uh, you and others who uh, served in the FBI with such distinction uh, in commitment over many years, uh, it's clear that the FBI has at its very top uh, some individuals who are, uh, without question, absolutely corrupt, leaking uh, uh, important information to the press and doing so both illegally, uh, unethically, uh, and to the detriment of the country. Uh, what are your thoughts tonight as we learn through unnamed sources again uh, what the FBI is doing? Uh, and the response of the Trump White House, which says point blank, the FBI is the source and that what they're doing is illegal. Well, uh, uh, you know, Lou, I, I don't know anybody has been able to show me conclusively that any leak is coming out of the FBI. I understand well, only, why well, one only, might think about well, that. Uh, except, you know, we can start with just one admitted leaker, and that, of course, is James Comey, the fire director of the FBI. Th that's that's true, but that doesn't necessarily mean the entire FBI is doing No, I'm not suggesting. No, let me be clear. I'm talking about the top officials of the FBI, which I hope I had said uh, uh, in my question. Uh, that's who I'm talking about. I think, Lou, it's probably the top official. I don't know if it's plural. Um, I mm -hmm. think that some of the information is coming out of the, out of the leftist uh, Hillary Clinton people that are still left over. That, that has a way of coming out as well. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's much, much question uh, in the minds of many uh, that the, uh, the leftovers of the Obama administration, uh, uh, the, the Clintons, uh, the Loretta Lynch, who met with, a, with the former President Bill Clinton uh, and directed, uh, again, uh, admittedly on the part of uh, James Comey, uh, to alter uh, his language as well as the direction of his uh, so-called investigation, which became a matter, uh, on Hillary Clinton uh, to support her campaign. Uh, we'll see if that gets investigated.